This is an excerpt from my book, My Year Living Dangerously. It's about well, one of the greatest men that affected me. Um, it's a Karl Popper. He's sadly dead now, but he wrote powerful stuff about philosophy and politics and science. It had a big impact on me, he still does. In fact, he's the man that taught me more than any other human being. So here's an excerpt. Sir so Karl Popper's philosophy fell on fertile ground with me because I was so aware of how little we knew about ecological systems. This was when I was working as a scientist and studying science. I'd always been suspicious of grand plans for resource use that assumed we knew the truth of how the world worked once and for all. I immediately set to applying Popper's insights to my work. I came to see too how free enterprise embodied his theories exactly. Entrepreneurs are constantly trying out new ways of doing things. The feedback they receive from their customers via their willingness to pay is the objective test of whether those ideas were any good. Entrepreneurs who get it wrong have to adjust quickly or go out of business, thereby freeing up their resources for entrepreneurs with better ideas. The contrast with government could not be sharper. Government is not a series of little experiments with a few resources, but one giant experiment with all resources and no objective feedback on what works and what doesn't. The same is true of environmental management. Once my eyes were opened, I came to see how the price system provided the necessary feedback needed to care for and conserve resources, but also the incentive as well. The former communist Eastern Bloc countries were toxic waste dumps. By comparison, farmers in New Zealand who owned their land worked hard to look after it and to maintain it. Private property rights provided the incentive to care for and protect resources. State ownership provides no such incentive, with the concern being the bureaucracy itself and the self-serving rhetoric of politicians, with an eye only to votes, not results. I was beginning to see and to understand the virtues and advantages of free enterprise over state control in philosophical terms at the same time as Roger Douglas was deregulating the New Zealand economy. It was a heady time for politics, and for me personally. I was reading everything I could lay my hands on relating to the use of knowledge and how a nation can better manage and care for its resources.